If you guys just want to see my matches, I've included timestamps in the description, so just check those out if you don't want to see the rest of the tournament. So, we're on our way to Hawkesbury. Everybody's in the car, look at all those guys. Oh yeah. So as I was thinking about it, I realized there was one more S that I missed. I had strength, I had speed, and I've got stamina. But I didn't do anything about style. So, we fixed that. So my friends and I had an idea that if we wore stupid shirts and stupid clothing to the tournament, if any of us won, it would be so funny. And the thing is, our club is quite good. We had a bunch of guys who could possibly win, so we went with it. Ryan. Oh. Let's go, Ryan. Let's go. go. Yes. yes. Ryan. Oh, damn. Uh, go.
Move your hand. Hey, he's climbing, he's climbing, he's climbing. Move his hand. So at this point, the right hand beginning brackets were done. It was on to the finals. There was the A side with me and Ryan, and there was the B side with two other great competitors. So now we move on to the left hand bracket before the finals. So that concludes the left-handed bracket for the before finals, and I'm on A side, and now we're on to the right-handed finals. Ryan and I go to the same school, and we both know that I can beat him, so we decided it'd be better if we didn't waste energy, and he just let me win, so we'd have a better, better chance in the B side finals. Now we're on to the second B-side final. Ryan lost his A-side, so now he's facing the winner of the B-side. Now, Ryan has already beat this guy before in the normal tournament, and that's why Ryan was on A-side and this guy was on B-side. The winner of this match will come back and face me on the A-side, where they have to beat me twice to win the whole thing. Yeah, Ryan, yeah, yeah, yeah. No elbow down to take a grip. Take that wrist out. Wrist, wrist, wrist. No, wrist, wrist, wrist. Wrist, wrist. Wrist, wrist, wrist. And just like that, onto the right hand finals. Now this guy has to beat me two times for him to actually win the overalls. 
I'm, an, I'm kind of messing with him a little bit. I'm saying, oh, you beat my friend. I have to avenge you. Because he just beaten Ryan and made it to the finals. So. Now, in the setup, I immediately felt this was definitely the second best guy. Through the whole tournament, I hadn't felt anybody's hands or risers or really much. And then I grip up with him and I'm like, okay, this guy is serious. This guy, I have to take it really legit and I have to go really hard. Sec. He's got to come down. Now after we slipped, I had a lot more confidence. I took his hand through the slip and I felt his riser drop and I realized in the straps if I could get a good setup, then I shouldn't have too much of a problem. And just like that, I was the right-handed champion. Now, on to the left-handed ace side finals. Let's go, buddy! Jeff, you better be watching you. I did, I told him. <laughs> now we're on to the left side finals. My opponent needs to beat me two times for him to win everything, and I only need to beat him once. And just like that, now I had won both left and right handed finals, making me the winner of both classes. So guys, I ended up winning 
the left-handed weight class, 175, uh, sorry, 140 to 175, and the right-handed 140 to 175, and that qualified me for the overalls, which was against all the winners of every other class. And the reason I won those is all because of my shirt. It was nothing to do with my training. I hadn't really trained much at all. Just the shirt made me just so much faster and so much more powerful in every single way. It was unbelievable. But I just wanted to say a huge thank you to every single person that came out there and to Philip Lazon and all of the people who helped ref and organize into the brackets. Huge thank you to everybody. All the competitors who came out, I just want you to be so proud of yourselves for competing and nobody getting an injury. That was so amazing. Nobody broke their arm. Yes! That was a worry. Um, a lot of people were very worried about that, about that because it wasn't... Because we knew in school, not everybody's going to be very professional. There'll be some people who go there that didn't really go to many practices, that didn't really pay attention. And, and, and that can be dangerous if, if you're being... If you're being an idiot, but luckily everybody was very smart. Everybody was very cautious. Nobody got hurt and it was such an amazing day. So I'm going to be making more videos. That was just my class. I'm going to make a video of the class above me, a couple different classes from all the, like basically making a video about every class that isn't like the people that goes to my school. So there'll be a bunch more videos coming. There'll be one of Havery as well. And I'm going to be posting the overalls because I was in that one as well. But so, yeah, thanks guys for watching. That was an amazing day. Thank you for everybody who donated the live stream and checked it out while people were streaming it. What an amazing day. See you guys.